Yo, it's Guido coming at you with a miserable Monday experience with our guest help, Lee Fan in Ottawa from Clan. <sighs> Clan Psy. S I G H. Psy. That is what you would do if you were in this battle. I believe Lee Fan probably did several large, dramatic sighs in this battle. He sent this to me, sent a note, said, Hey, I think I found some rigging. And that is how it is titled game rigging caught i don't know we're gonna have a discussion about it it's gonna wrap around the idea that folks it does it really matter if you're in an all tier 10 battle the supposed pinnacle of world of tanks does it really matter if your team's just atrocious or if there's rigging going on what well, the end result for you the average gamer is about the same it's a ship show so we're going to we're going to watch this a little bit. I did dig into it attempting to look at some of these names, but unfortunately there's the ridiculous anonymizer thing going on. So depending on which version of the replay you're looking at, I'm trying to look at the 1104 which is the tank in question. Actually, the, oh, maybe I'm seeing his non-anonymized name. Interesting. I think I was actually looking for the wrong person to be quite honest. Anywho, old Sifco here. Uh, I looked into a couple of the, the names and it, it's hard to tell to be quite honest. You know, there's been industrial level rigging going on for a while in this game, but it, it seems to have been tamped down maybe just a bit by Wargaming or you don't notice it as much. I know that uh, Klaus went into it quite a bit and showed some very compelling examples of, of what that might look like. You guys have sent, I've seen examples in my games but lately, I don't know if it's just died down because nobody cares or if nobody's seeing it as much. Not nobody, but we're not seeing it as much. You know what I'm saying? Um, but that doesn't mean that there can't be a couple guys that just try to try to count in together and say, Hey, look, I'm trying to get this medium mission where I have to do X amount of damage to a TD. Hey, why don't you drive this 1104? We'll try to count in, see if we get on a different sides. If we happen to be in the same game then you go park your 1104 sideways in a bush and I'll shoot it. <laughs> I don't know. You know, so it can be the industrial level. You've paid some company of gamer guys, little network that does all this. Or maybe it's just a couple of guys trying to help each other rig games for the upper levels of gift tanks, which I believe happens quite a bit based on the missions and the number of these things that are around. But let's just see how... How it affects a game, though, right? We're gonna we're gonna see Lee Fan. He's gonna attempt to play. He's at the pinnacle of World of Tanks. It's where all the best players are, man. All right, all the best players. We're gonna have a great tier ten battle. We're on our AMX thirty B. Uh, I think this is not on the tech tree anymore. It's actually one of the what do they call them? Special? They're special, not reward. It'll come to me in a minute. I can't think of it right now, but it's a tank that's not on the main tech tree but you can still get it can't think of the word it'll come to me it'll come to me the leaf fans gonna play a game of world of tanks baby Time to roll out. Hmm. but this is none of my business folks none of my business all right we're off to the races there goes a t100 he is a honey badger 515 honey badger don't care he's headed right for the middle we have one, two, three, four, five tanks, all getting ready to sit in three tiny bushes. <laughs> uh, you get this on steeps, all right? You will see this on steeps. Why? Because T100 Honey Badger is moving forward. They are hoping to catch guys moving around and see if they can get some snipper shots because we're snippers, man. We got Ivan. We got Jay Koa. We even have Lee Fan. We have Orgrim and Sififko in his 110E4. How many giant tier 10 tanks can we fit in this tiny little bush? Let's find out. One, two, a three. A three giant tanks can fit in this one. <laughs> There goes Honey Badger. You know, when I first saw Honey Badger going, that's the spot I go to, but he's already overshot it a little bit. Something that seems a little aggressive. Let's just see what he does. 
Okay. Alrighty. He's... He's just gonna... Well, what he's gonna do is get deleted. Uh-oh. Shot's coming in. Oh, boy. What the... We've been made. What does that mean? That means one of their tier 10 light tanks is right here in these, this bush. Potentially in the middle, but unlikely to get there. He's come up through the little ridge gully thing, and now he's in this bush, and he's lighting everything that's poking up. And not to be outdone by one, two, three, four tanks in the tiny bush. <laughs> four tanks in a bush. Or the 4,005 that's just sort of driving up and over out in the open, although he's, he is sort of kind of using this little bush. T-62 Den Venizia is just going to top over into the open, right? And he'll just kind of move around. Surely I'm not spotted. Quit calling me Shirley. Now, oh, I'm spotted. What do I do? I mean, just, oh my gosh, I should spin around. I'll just uh, sit sideways. And that feels like maybe an autoloader is shooting at him. Hmm. Okay. And Lee Fan is like, what on earth? And meanwhile, uh, look at old Sifco here, the 124, who has been who has been uh, bequeathed. He has been left on to his own devices in the bush alone. Everyone else has scattered like cockroaches. Meanwhile, the uh, T100 honey badger is being countered by the other T100. And you might look at this and go, well, you know, it doesn't look too bad. We got three guys over here. Poor asparagus has uh, really been left out to dry because we're just guarding the cat with nearly everybody back here. I don't know what this guy, this dude's herring off to some other place. Super Conqueror is about as far back as you can get a Super Conqueror without being up on the hill. And we got a few guys up over here, the JPC, BZ, and the other TVP. I mean, honestly, if you're looking at this right now at tier 10, you're already going, uh, hmm. This is gonna be this is gonna be tough to win. We're gonna need our T124 to really do some damage, baby. Camping at the cap and our 4005. These guys, we're gonna need them to really uh, make it happen. So the 124 has put his best armor to the enemy. Mm, one, two. Oh, that's an auto loader. Yeah, all three. Okay, four. Hmm. So. Which tank has a four-round autoloader? Ah, <laughs> the 50-51. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, isn't it? Just sort of sit. Oh, wait. Oh, tell me when you're reloaded. All right, I'm going back out. All right, I'm in the bush. I'm waiting. Just going to sit here. Yeah, not too far. I'm like, right, the back end of my tank is right next to the rocks. If you kind of go center. There you go. You got me. That was a hit. Yep, that was a hit. I'm going to act like you didn't hit me. I don't know, folks. Who knows? Who knows what this guy is doing? But he has given up all of his hit points. And based on how fast the shots are going in, it really feels like an auto loader going on. You know, maybe the maybe he had shot two at somebody else and put two in. Who knows? Because there are some dudes moving around here and there. But uh, the 124 really looking like he might be helping someone rig some damage for some reason. You know what I'm saying? Now we're going to find out which uh, TVP has the most damage. I actually am looking at it right here, but we'll let you know towards the end. What's interesting about it is it's not a it's not ten thousand, right? It's not eight, ten, nine, or anything like that. But it is a significant amount. A significant amount. How many tanks do we have back in this corner? <laughs> what the hell is going on, man? What? <laughs> now I'll be honest. Lee Fan hasn't done a whole lot himself, but I think based on what he said. And a couple of his things type. He just he just watching this go down too and wondering what in the exact heck is going on in this game. Now he's looking for some shots here. <laughs> One ten four. See Fifco. Is he back out in the open? No, he's hiding behind the rock. Ah, here comes uh, Nikov Danilio. 
Nikov Danilio is moving up. Danilia. Who has, by the way, uh, at the end of the game, 5,311 damage. Like I said, it's not a massive amount. And, you know, it doesn't have to be the industrial level the industrial level rigging thing going on. It could easily be just a couple friends. 4,005's getting nuked. And we got poor Leaf Fan moving in here. Looking to get a little bit of damage because uh, everyone's mad. 4,005's mad. Leaf Fan gets a little shot off of that guy. That's old uh, Nikov there. who looks like he's pushing in just to add some damage to his total. As we've now got a kind of uh, thrashing going on. Now, to be fair, the 124 did not give up his last hit points to Nikov. And you might say, well, maybe that's proof it wasn't rigging. Uh, maybe they're trying to get a little pl plausible deniability going on right there. I, who knows? And it could very well be a fact that it's not rigging. As I noted, as I noted at the beginning, what's the actual difference at the end of the day? In terms of how the game's played, you had a, you could have got that guy. Could have got one more shot of damage in there. Uh, Lee fan says WTF was this game, and then gives out a big <sighs> sigh. <laughs> Ultimately, though, man, if you're the player, and here's where we get into the miserable Monday experience, my friends. You when you log into this and you start playing this particular kind of game where you're on poor Leaf fans team and you just notice some insanity somebody just playing like a Muppet like a absolute Muppet or so bad that it looks like some kind of rigging I mean we do have a dead T62 who just hung out up there right the 124 he did back up I'll give I will say that he did back up behind the rock but then it just sat there so I don't maybe it's just a bot could be just plain old a bot or a really bad super bad player who knows but that really looked like poking out and by the way he was hit it was one of the tbps again it could be a scout in there actually lit him up you, you, it's hard to tell could have been a scout there and that guy just happened to be the one shooting him and this is a terrible player or it could be rigging but if you're leaf fan or you or me or whoever that's on the green team in this battle honestly what's the difference at that point it's 10 to 2. It's going to get worse. Somehow the other team lost a couple players. But this game was never in doubt. It was never. I mean, when it was 15 to 15 and the timer went to from 0 to 1, as soon as the five tanks all tried to get up on that middle spot and we started losing hit points immediately, it was pretty much not in doubt. Then you pay attention where the rest of them were were going i mean they still have a complete infestation over in the corner there doing nothing although that's the only part of the map they own at this point crazy stuff crazy stuff i don't know let me know what you think down below on this miserable monday was that some kind of rigging uh gentlemen's agreement guys helping each other out super bad player combination of, of both i don't know the t62 was an odd one you would think if the T-62 was involved, they wouldn't just drive out in the open necessarily and let all the other players on the team see him. But, hey, just because you're rigging doesn't mean you're good at it, right? <laughs> I don't know, man. That was something else, though. I did I did enjoy that. Um, as a miserable Monday experience, Lee Fan, sorry. We're laughing with you, not at you, my friend. These things, this is just how it goes. And you see this at Tier 10 quite a bit. Unreal. Let me know what you guys think down below. That's all I've got. See ya. Have a great Monday. Well, a quick addendum to all of that. I went back and I'd forgotten that one of you guys, might have been Cliffy or somebody, had already done the uh, the detective work on this. I actually did it myself and found the guy's name and then remembered. But anyway, the 1104 has an interesting account. I just want to show you this. Again, it doesn't necessarily prove anything necessarily completely, but it does shed some light, let's say that. So we go here, this guy's name is Parneni. In the last thousand games, as you can see right here, 1403, it's a 1598 account. 
All of this recent and whatnot looks fairly reasonable for a pretty average green kind of account, but something very interesting has happened in the last 60 days. <laughs> in the last 60 days, we have done 29 battles. As you can see, this is the thousand games, right? The last thousand, so we played a lot of different tanks. Enjoying the game, playing at a green level, more or less, so fantastic. But then we go to the last 60 days, and what have we here? But uh, some TDs, we have played three games in the IS-3 that somehow we have won all three of them despite a 268 win eight. <laughs> so I'm not sure what's going on there. Maybe the, uh, the rigging isn't working out so much on those particular games. But 20 games in the 124, six games in the FV-4005. Now, I think this might actually be all in the last little while. Let's check this code here. Is that? Yeah, so that's literally in the last 24 hours, or these are all the same. Interesting. So I guess we've done all this recently. It appears that this, that this account has changed hands and is now being used for rigging. That would uh, be what it appears to me. Uh, 27 win 8 overall, 0, 0. These are being used for farming. They're doing nothing. And this has all happened it's definitely within the last 60 days, as you can see here. But it looks like it's the same stuff for even in the last 24 hours. In the last 24 hours, we have played 29 battles. Yep, that checks. So, of course, it's going to propagate across here. So it's been a while since this account's been played. But in the last 24 hours, we've done 29 battles. And this is uh, video is made on the fourth or the second of April. It is not April Fool's, fellas, and has been used obviously for what I would only assume is rigging, and it would have to be probably ninety nine percent of that. You know, it used to be that they would put these things in platoons because it would just make it easier to get into games, but I think now they probably have stopped doing that. So that's a little easier to see, so it's more like singletons. I bet if I go look at that T62, I might find a similar situation. In fact, let's go do that. I'll be right back. Well, fellas, it's a twisted web we weave, and oftentimes uh, you feel like you shouldn't have just even bothered to look into it. But here's a Parneni. Um, also, too, in addition to, if we come over here on the replays, we've got uh, some other zeros. Uh, I looked up this guy. He's just bad. Uh, Dan Venezia. And the Super Conqueror, Yaz444. So we've got uh, aliases Fong, and this is Yaz, who just has his name up there. Uh, as you can see, this uh, was a green account until recently. Uh, interestingly, it's the last 24 hours, and he's played 36 battles. In his Super Conqueror and uh, the Leopard, and has managed to uh, allow the other team to farm him. Interesting that there's these other games in tier eights. I wonder if these are just to throw the algorithm off or some such. I don't know. Then we've got good old Fong2805, who was, I believe, the alias of the T62A. It was one or the other. One of them was a super. Actually, Yaz was not anonymized. Don Venezia is this other guy, Fong2805 who is just a bad account overall, but in the last 24 hours has played uh, 34 games <laughs> in various tanks. 87 of them in his K91. There you go. Interesting that this happened to be the one T62 game that we caught. And uh, I don't know how he has, oh, he has a one win eight. I saw, oh no, 16, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong number. 16 K91 games and 16 T62A games. So, at least this particular account was horrible to begin with, and I don't know if this has always been a bot or what, but uh, <laughs> interesting, isn't it? Last 24 hours, three accounts, other than two of them greens. This one, I don't know what's going on with this one overall. This is pretty sad. Uh, this has just apparently been a bot from the beginning. But you got this guy, and you got this guy. It would appear 
a fairly clean cut case of rigging. Let me know what you think. See ya.